Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I want to show you how you can continue to farm Grave Ward for XP and Legendaries without the Pipe Bomb. Because I'm sure that that will get patched soon. It's way too overpowered to remain in the game like this. Before we continue, this video contains some major spoilers, so if you haven't finished the game yet, close the video and come back after you finished it. Now back to the video. Basically, you will be able to do this. And this. Using Flax Fadeaway action skill combined with a bunch of weapons that you have or you just want to use. First of all, here's the build that I am using. So we are going to invest quite a lot of points in the green tree because we want to maximize the damage that you can do when you're using the fadeaway ability, action skill. First of all, we are going to max out the furious attack ability because we are going to hit Grave Ward quite a lot and this will give us more damage whenever we hit him. Next I'm going to max out the health because at some point you might die using this build because on Mayhem Mode 3 you have one of the modifiers that gives a chance to the boss to return 30% of the damage back to you and because you will do quite a lot of damage you will get some damage as well and in the end you might die. Overclocked it's a good ability as well for this build because you'll be able to fire more bullets and basically do more damage. You will need this ability as well, because as I said, at some point you might die. This is not going to happen very often, but you might die sometime, so it's good that the pet can come and revive you. Then max out turn, tail and run, so you can get that extra damage whenever you're standing still. The Fast and the Furious is really good as well, because you will have your health above half most of the time when you're fighting this boss. Max out Hidden Machine as well. Because whenever you're going to fade away, the boss cannot target you. So you're going to do 30% extra damage. Then get the power inside as well for even more damage. Basically whenever you will start the fight with the boss, you will activate the fade away skill. Which will give you 50% more damage because your health will be full. In the blue tree, we are only going to invest in this ability. Because we want to use fade away for as long as we can. Now head over to the orange tree and max out leave no trace. I really love this ability because basically you can shoot for the whole duration of the action skill. I have 3 points from the class mode as well so this gives me 72% chance to get the ammo back. Even without the class mode you still get 36% chance which is quite high as well you will still be able to shoot a lot more. However some of the weapons from the list that I'm going to show you you will not need to have this ability because they will recover bullets from critical hits and some weapons will have a chance not to consume any ammo. Now to unlock the next line of skills you will have to invest 2 more points somewhere so you can just invest in any of the skills above. They will not help you at all in the fight with Grave Ward. Then max out the head count ability because you may not kill him only by using the action skill once. But you're going to do a lot of damage anyway and he's going to put his head on the arena standing still and you'll be able to do critical hits and recover the action skill a lot faster using this ability, the head count. Then we need to invest two more points somewhere just so we can unlock the next line of skills. You can invest them wherever you want, as I said doesn't matter, it's not going to help you at all. Then max out two fang as well, just so you can have the chance to fire another bullet every now and then. Yeah, just a bit more damage. And that's it with the skills. You're going to have two more skill points, which you can invest anywhere you want. It's not going to help you do any more damage against Grave Ward at all. Invest those two points wherever you want, doesn't matter. Equip the fadeaway ability. Equip the Gunslinger Jabber just for that extra bit of critical hit damage. And the augments that we are going to use is the first one, Gorillas in the Mist. Just so that the fadeaway skill will not end after 3 shots. 
at the cost of some critical hit damage, but we're going to recover that critical hit damage with the last augment, which will give us 75% more critical hit damage. It will reset every 3 hits, but anyway, we're going to hit him quite a lot. So he's going to take a lot of damage. Now let's head over to the weapons. So the grenade mode, the shield, the class mode and the artifact, they don't really matter that much. These are just the items that I use in, our, in my normal build. You should actually get an artifact that increases your magazine size with 40%, just so you can shoot more bullets. And the class mode, it would be nice if you would have a class mode that gives you points into the leave no trace ability, just so you can, again, shoot more bullets. If not, don't worry, some of the weapons on this list are not going to take advantage of this ability. So for this build you will actually use more than one weapon because of the modifiers that you will have on Mayhem Mode 3. Basically some modifiers nerf some weapons so you will want to use the type of weapon that will do the most damage with those modifiers. For example, these modifiers right here. The third one says that you will have decreased damage with assault rifles and sniper rifles. But you will also do more damage with pistols, SMGs and shotguns. So to kill Graveworth quicker, you should use a pistol or a shotgun. Here are the best weapons that you should use. I chose these four to equip because they do a crazy amount of damage and one of them will surely be good no matter the modifiers on Mayhem Mode 3. The first weapon is the Queen's Call. You get this weapon from the last boss of the game, from Tyrion the Destroyer, only from her. There are a few variants of this weapon. The one that I have equipped at the moment is the one that does radiation damage. I have another one that does cryo damage, ice damage. So no matter which one you have, the weapon is still going to be very good for this build. Now all the other weapons that you're going to see on this list, I got them from Graveward. I farmed him quite a lot. So all the other weapons you may be able to get them from Graveward. However, weapons in Borderlands they spawn everywhere. So you can get them from another boss, from a normal, just a normal enemy, I don't know. But this is how I got them, from Graveward. So the next weapon is a Maggie, which does a lot of damage, shoots 6 bullets every time, shoots them very quick, it doesn't have any elemental damage, but anyway, you are going to need to have some weapons with normal bullets as well. You'll see why in a second. The next weapon is going to be a Luda. There are a few variations of this weapon as well. Some of them have fire damage, some of them they don't have any elemental damage. I have one without any elemental damage and this one with corrosive damage. You should use one with an elemental damage just so you can maximize the damage you can do on Grave World. This one I think is the one that does the most damage. However, in some cases it's not going to be very useful. Because if you will get some modifiers that will reduce the damage from snipers and also will reduce the elemental damage, this weapon is going to be useless, so you should use another one. And the last weapon on the list is going to be the Butcher, a shotgun, which does a lot of damage, has a really high fire rate. Also, for this weapon there are a few variants, but any of them is going to be perfect, because all of them they do a crazy amount of damage. So basically you will have to choose the weapon that is not nerfed by the modifiers on Mayhem Mode 3. However, this build also works with loads of other weapons. It works with all the weapons on the right side, these weapons. Basically it should be a weapon with a high fire rate and high damage. I'm sure there are going to be other weapons in the game that will work, but I only tasted these ones and they work pretty well against this boss. Now let's see some examples. For these modifiers you will have increased damage with pistols and shotguns. We have a pistol and we have a shotgun as well. But for this video we're only going to use the pistol. So here it is. I have also noticed that if you hit his chest cavity he's going to take more damage. Even if you are in fade away you will still get more damage if you hit him in the chest cavity. Now let's see another example. Here you are going to do more damage with sniper rifles and assault rifles and more elemental damage. So the best weapon to use it would be the sniper rifle with the elemental damage. So that's what I'm going to use for this fight. Uh, 
However, there are some cases where the modifiers are not going to actually benefit any of your weapons. So basically when this happens you can just use whatever weapon you want. Also, you may not kill Gravor from using Fade Away just once, like in this video, but you will surely do enough damage, enough that enough critical hits to be able to use the Fade Away skill again, so you can kill him. As I said, this build is going to work with other weapons as well, but one of those four should work in any situation. Also, make sure that you're going to play offline just so you can get as much experience as possible, usually around 242,000. So that's it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching, leave a like if this was helpful, comment as well if you have any questions, also subscribe if you want, if you like my content, I'm also doing a giveaway for this game, I'm going to announce the winner at the end of next week, I'm going to put some more details in the description, again thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye!